Here's part two of the video on how to um, set up your engraver. Um, in part one I showed you how to set the offset um, and get those numbers. So now here in part two I'll show you how to put these into sheet cam. Um, as you can see here I've written down my, my offset numbers that I got from Mach. Um, now that we're in sheet cam, you can see I already have pulled up here a, uh, a test program which I have and I made everything um, very consistent so everything here is 25 millimeters of uh, distance between also between these there's one right in the center one here and one here so that I can get a pretty accurate reading uh, or a test when, whenever I go to see uh, if the machine is off or not so now that we have our offset numbers we're gonna go to um, options machine here uh, you'll get a box that comes up here. You want to go to post processor, edit post, and this this screen comes up here. This is the code that tells the machine uh, what the different offsets are. And as you can see here on my my marker, let's see if we can get it to focus. Right here, um, my X here is not the same number, and as I predicted with the Y. Um, it is actually five millimeters off. So through the test, I was able to see it was five millimeters off. And now that I've done the, a re-reference, uh, it's exactly um, right around five millimeters. So what does that mean? So now I put in these new numbers here. Um, oh, and my my X actually was one millimeter off, so that's also accurate. Um, Twenty six. And all of these you want to do in millimeters, it says here um, also, but my whole machine is referenced in millimeters, and so I automatically do it in millimeters. So, now that we have these put in, you want to make sure that that's on nil here. As it says, and so this is my uh, my offset for my engraver. So every time uh, when I want to go to engrave something, um, the code will automatically know that the offset between the torch and the engraver is at these numbers. So now we should have an accurate reading. And then obviously, if you look above here, this switch offset that's for my probe here. Uh, there's already other videos on how to how to reference that out. Um, but that's basically what this. Um, this post processor does is uh, tell the machine what these different offsets are so that when you write your code it puts everything in automatically along with your backlash and things like that. So now that we have this all put in we're gonna save close this out and so now every time when I um, uh, go to create a code for this for the scriber or the engraver whatever you want to call it it'll always put this uh, these numbers um, in offset uh, for the reference. Also I want to go over real quick how to how to make uh, these center holes. Um, let's say you know you, you have a really small hole and you want it very precise obviously the the plasma can't get as precise as a drilled hole. So what we want to do is uh, we want to save time by having our reference point here and so the scriber will then drive to all these holes and just basically then just activate the scriber to make a small um, pinhole or like a small mark and that's basically kind of like your center hole punch um, if you're going to do it all by hand. So what we want to do is uh, we you obviously want to have a tool that is a plate marker. Um, I've read that you want to have it obviously above 100. I don't know why that is but uh, it works for me. So you want to have your plate marker put in and uh, you can find in other videos on how to set that up. So then <clears throat> we have all of our holes here referenced. We're going to do an operation. And the difference is here you want to go to drilling. As you can see here, that's an option. Drilling. Text of the box will pop up. And you want to have, you can reference and say, I want to have all of the hole, the minimum hole size is three millimeters, the maximum hole size three millimeters. Uh, in my program here, as you can see, all of these holes are 5 millimeters, so they fall within that range. So everything that's on the screen that you see here is going to uh, be referenced as uh, 
a hole that needs to be made. Uh, you can choose between your tools here. Uh, obviously we want the plate marker because that's what our engraver is. We want it on the first layer, it's just the one that you see here on the screen. Uh, we click OK and as you can see it already has created a, um, a path, tool path. So now once we, we process this code, um, I just say new here because this is the new reference. Um, I have this under a um, accuracy testing for drill here and save. Post processing is completed. So now I can close this out, open up my new um, uh, program in mock and test it out.